I'm victory. Here's a tip controlled by Shepard. Abby Beeman on the point, guarded by Winfield. Passes it to Clayton. Clayton, drop step, takes a shot, no good. Rebound to Shepard. Here's Beeman. Cross court it goes. Pass back out to Beeman, 11 on the shot clock. And the ball knocked away by Winfield. Beeman had an unbelievable game yesterday with 34 points, 13 assists, 8 rebounds, and 8 steals. Pioneers have got to limit her success. 8 on the shot clock. Inbounds to Clayton out high. Clayton wants to drive. Into the paint, puts up the shot, and scores it. Got to cut her off. She is very powerful inside. Here's Rayshana Stone to Winfield. Winfield for three off the mark and the rebound down to the Pioneers. This is Abby Stoller. She misses the shot and the rebound to Shepard. Shepard wants the run. Oh, looked like a double dribble, no call. Looked like uh, Myers double dribbled that basketball. Or pardon me, it was McLaughlin. And here's a ball knocked away by Tayshawn Hubbard. It'll stay with the Rams. Pioneers will bring three in, take three out. Coming in is uh, Taylor, also uh, Davidson, and Michelle Cecil. Here's a lob pass out front to Beeman. Beeman guarded by Winfield. Comes around a screen, dumps it to Clayton. Clayton, pull-up jumper, good. Two for two. There's a pass into the corner to Cecil. Drives baseline, dumps it off to Winfield. Layup, good. Great pass from Michelle Cecil. Four to two, Shepard on top. Full court press and almost a turnover. It is. Bad inbounds pass. And the Pioneers force the turnover. Pioneers will make a five-player change. Five in, five out. Inbounder will be Hubbard. And throws it out front to Rayshana Stone. Stone down the lane, kicks it in the corner. Hubbard for three, no. Rebound, Hubbard in the corner to Stone. Outside it comes to Danielson. Now Hubbard. Hubbard wants to drive, and boy, going to call an offensive foul on Tayshawn Hubbard, and I believe it was the right call. First on Tayshawn, first team foul. Turnover for the Pioneers. Full court press. Here's the inbounds to McLaughlin. Had a great third quarter yesterday for the Rams. Into the front court. Gives it to Beeman. Guarded closely by Rayshana Stone. Beeman goes around. Dumps it off to Clayton. Layup is good. Pioneers going to have to box her out. Double team her maybe. Here's Stone. Rayshana driving. Layup is good. 6-4. Shepard with the lead and the basketball. Beeman down the floor, throws it away. Trying to get it to Shipley, and she threw it away. Turnover for the Rams. That'll be their second, I believe. Pioneers with a chance to tie. Congleton. Into the front court. Winfield on the left wing. She'll pull up and shoot from there. Good! It's a two-point basket. We're tied at six. First tie of the game. Inbound. Stolen by Congleton. Congleton driving and kicks it out front to Cecil for three. No. Rebound Winfield. And her shot is blocked. Congleton comes up with it. Puts the shot up. No good, but she's fouled. I think by Sidney Clayton. That'll be the first on Clayton and the first team foul and Congleton at the free throw line. 
had a very good game yesterday. First shot is in and out. Second shot for Congleton, in and out. Rebound comes down to the Rams. Here comes Myers, gives it off to Beeman. Beeman passes on the wing, she turned it over. Bad pass intended for Myers, but it was too wide, and that's two turnovers on Abby Beeman. It's the fourth turnover already for the Rams. Rams average 16.1 turnovers. Pioneers average forcing 27 turnovers. Here's Stone, top of the circle, down the lane, to the glass, short, rebound Myers. Here comes Beeman, quickly down the floor, pass on the left wing, McLaughlin for three, yes. She got hot yesterday and brought the Rams right back into it. Here's Abby Stoller, lost the basketball. Turnover, and now Beeman is fouled, a reaching foul on Rashana Stone. That'll be the first on Stone. Second team foul. Possession for the Rams. Shot clock at 27. Pioneers will make the line change. Hannah Myers will be the inbounder for the Rams. Gets it to Beeman, guarded by Congleton. Beeman almost lost the ball, gets it to Clayton. Clayton driving in, fadeaway jumper, good. Boy, she is hot. That's eight points for Sydney Clayton. Five-point lead for the Rams. Here's Congleton down the lane, missed the shot. Rebound, Shepard. Congleton got too deep and hit the rim going up. Beeman up the floor to Clayton. Back to Beeman. Beeman against Winfield. Around a screen. Pass to Clayton. Clayton puts it up. No good. And the rebound the Pioneers. This is Congleton. Congleton takes it in. Yes. 11 to 8. Pioneers down three. There's Beeman. Abby guarded by Taylor. That's a mismatch. And the ball knocked away, but Beeman gets it back, gets it to Clayton. Layup is good and a foul. Pioneers have got to deny Sidney Clayton the basketball. So the foul is on Winfield. That'll be her first. That's the third team foul. And we've got our media timeout with 4.53 to go in the first. Score, please. The score is 13 to 8. No running scoreboard. Can you tell them, Diane? Uh, good evening. Could you all please put the score on the television stream? Thanks. We'll try and get that fixed for you. Okay. Yep, they're all about the scoreboard. We will try and get that fixed for you. If you're watching the uh, telecast, drop me a. Uh, Email at bob.edwards at glenville.edu, or you can text at 304-373-3499. Let us know where and why you're watching, whether you are a Pioneer fan or a Rams fan. Love to hear from you. And we'll try and get the uh, scoreboard fixed. <clears throat> Great start for the Rams. They are uh, 6 of 8 from the floor. And Sidney Clayton already with 10 points, 5 of 7 from the floor. The Pioneers are 4 of 11 from the floor. 
And the leading scorer is Winfield with four. Pioneers down by five. And Clayton will be going to the free throw line. Clayton, a graduate student from Frederick, Maryland. Shot is up and good. Six-point lead for the Rams, 14-8. to eight. Here's Danielson outside to Hubbard. Now to Pierce. Pierce driving down the lane, uncontested lay-in. Went around the defender, and then nobody was there. Inbounds pass to McLaughlin. Up the floor, it goes to Beeman. Beeman throws it away. That's her third turnover of the game. Pioneers with a chance to make it a one-possession game. Here's Stone into the paint, kicks it out to Abby Stoller. Stoller back to Stone. Cross court, it goes to Hubbard. Hubbard driving. Hubbard to the glass. Good! 14-12. Pioneers with a little 4-0 mini run. Here's the inbounds pass to Beeman. Up the floor to Clayton. Beeman gets it back. Here's a pass onto the wing. This goes to Shipley. Back out to Beeman for three. No. Rebound Pioneers. Chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Rashana Stone picks up her dribble outside to Hubbard. Back to Stone. Stone down the lane. Up with a shot. No good. And the rebound controlled by the Rams. Here comes Beeman. Beeman, great pass on the baseline. Layup is good. That was put up and in by Megan Shipley. 16-12. Here's Pierce on the wing. Gives it up to Stoller. Abby backing in and puts the shot up and in. Goes around and under Clayton, and now a turnover, a throwaway. Myers trying to get it to Megan, um, pardon me, get it to uh, Marley McLaughlin, threw it away, and that is already the fifth turnover. <laughs> Got a text here from my daughter-in-law, Catherine Butcher, a former Pioneer player, watching from Grand Junction, Colorado. Good to hear from you, Cat. Here's Winfield to Congleton for three. She buries it. Pioneers on top, 17-16. Inbounds pass to Clayton. Clayton running. Cut off, but she puts a shot up. It's short, and the rebound out of bounds to the Pioneers. Got a lot of other texts. We'll catch them when we get a break in the action, folks. Thank Miss Dye for going down to get the score put back up on the screen. Here's Congleton around McLaughlin. Layup is good. Pioneers up 19 16. Here's the press, and it's a turnover. Bad pass intercepted by Cecil. Cross court to Congleton. She'll fire up another three. Airballed it. Taken out of there by Beeman. Beeman, pitcher, dribble up. Beeman driving and throws a shot up, no good. And the rebound knocked out of bounds by Clayton, and the Pioneers will have it. I don't think that's Clayton. I think that was, uh... yeah, I can't see from here. Yeah, it wasn't Clayton. I think it was Jordan Smith who knocked that one out. Yeah. 19-16, Pioneers. 140 to play in the third in the first quarter. Here is Stone. Passes it out to Stoller, and Stoller turns it over. Tried to force it into Hubbard. Bad pass. Here's Beeman. Guarded out there by Hubbard. Abby 
Lobs it to Clayton. She'll pull up from the elbow. Shot no good. Rebound tipped around, and we got a foul on the floor. I think the foul is going to be on Pierce. It will. Kaylee Pierce on the foul on the rebound. That's her first. Fourth team foul. Pioneers up by three. 113 to play in the first. Beeman out to Clayton. Her jumper, no good. Rebound by Beeman. She fires one up, and it's good. Stone, top of the circle. Stone into the paint, kicks it outside to Hubbard. Fires a three, no good. And the rebound saved in bounds, but to the Rams. Beeman into the front court. 46 seconds left to play in the quarter. Rams can regain the lead with a score. Here's Jordan Smith. Clayton with it, top of the circle. Gives it up to McLaughlin. McLaughlin back outside. Clayton. Clayton wanting to drive, and Clayton puts it up and in. Knocked Abby Stoller to the ground, and Coach Kim Stevens beside herself. Rams back on top, 20-19, to 19, and that's 11 for Clayton. I think that's uh, 13 for Clayton. It is. Here's Rashana Stone. Stone lost the basketball. Picked up by Jordan. Down and lays it up and in. And the Rams lead by three at the end of one. 22-19. Some sloppy plays by the Pioneers in their last two possessions with two turnovers. In the game, 58% for Shepard, 10 of 17. One of two from beyond the arc for the Pioneers, 9 of 19, 47.4%. One of six from three-point land. Shepard winning the rebounds, 10 to 6. And turnovers, Pioneers winning that battle, 7 to 4. Leading scorer for Shepard, Clayton with 13 points. For the Pioneers, 7 for Deja Congleton. All right, let's see. Bob Z, Matt, and Allie Peary, along with Toby Ford, are watching from Spencer because we love Kim Stevens and the Lady Pioneers. Good to hear from you guys. Let's see here. Uh, let's go Rams watching live in Shepherdstown. Hello, we are Eugene and Tara Morrow watching from McMurray, Pennsylvania, supporting our niece, Kara Miner, who plays for Shepherd. Go Rams. Hey, Bob, it's Jim Deem. You know where I'm from and rooting on GSC to win. We're doing uh, we're doing a great job as always. I think you meant uh, you are. Uh, let's see. Just a word of advice. The scoreboard, yeah, we got that. Go Marley McLaughlin and the Lady Rams. We love you. Cheryl and Denny watching from Hagerstown. Jordan Smith. All right, Pioneers with the basketball down by three. Congleton, Congleton down the lane, up with a shot, no good, but she's fouled. I think the foul is on McLaughlin. Nope. Yeah, it is McLaughlin. That's her first, first team foul this quarter. At the line, Congleton, she has seven points, one of two from the line. First one is good. Deja Congleton and Zakiah Winfield had a connection yesterday in the game. Second shot, no good, and the rebound down to Hannah Myers. She clears it to McLaughlin, and a pass down the floor, and boy, what a nice basket there by Jordan, uh, by, uh, Jordan Smith. Here is uh, Atkinson. She missed it, but the rebound to Winfield. Puts it up and in. 24-22. Shepard with the lead. Here's the inbounds to Smith. Pardon me, that was uh, Clayton with it. Now Smith. Beeman out near center court. Now Hannah Myers gives it off to McLaughlin. Here is Clayton. 
Clayton lost the basketball, but last touched by the Pioneers. Missed opportunity for Glenville there to get a turnover. Pioneers will make that line change. Five in, five out. Here's the inbounds pass. Beeman off of one of the Pioneers. She gets it. A shot is put up and in. That one was by Megan Shipley. Four-point lead for the Rams. Here's Stone outside to Hubbard. Hubbard gives it up to Stoller, to Stone. Stone gives it to Pierce. She'll fire a three. No good. And the rebound down to the Rams. Beeman checking with Coach Eckleberry to see what kind of play she wants to run. Beeman down the left side, cut off by Stone, and passes it into Clayton. Clayton puts a shot up and good. She is a handful for the Pioneer. She's got 15 points. Here's Stone. Gives it up to Pierce. Back to Stone on the wing. Stone will take a three. Good. Rayshana Stone. 28-25. Rams by three. Here's the inbounds pass. All the way down the floor. And here's a lay-in. A good pass to Shipley from uh, Smith. Here's Stone going to the glass. Kicks it outside. Danielson for three. No good. Rebound, controlled by the Rams. Five-point lead for Shepard. Here comes Beeman. Beeman into the paint, couldn't get the shot off, gives it up to Clayton. Her shot missed, and the rebound, Abby Stoller. On the wing, here's Rayshana Stone. She'll fire a three. Good, Rayshana Stone. 30, 28, two-point lead for Shepard. Shepard with numbers. Pass down the floor to Clayton. Layup is good. Quick pass down the floor to Abby Stoller. Abby puts a shot up. No good. Rebound uh, to Hubbard. Hubbard out to Stone. 18 on the shot clock. Rashana. In traffic, almost turned it over. Eight on the shot clock. Here's Hubbard. Hubbard driving, kicks it in the corner. Pierce for three. No. Rebound comes down to McLaughlin. Rams with a five-point lead and the basketball. Here's Shipley. Shipley kicks it in the corner. McLaughlin for three. It's good. 35-28, biggest lead of the ball game. Hubbard drives down the lane, puts it up and in around Clayton. 35-30. Inbounds comes to Smith. Or that was Clayton, pardon me. They both got long ponytails, and you can't see their number. Beeman works it out front. Beeman picks up her dribble. She's double teamed, and we've got a tie-up. It'll stay with the Rams. 5.15 to go in the first half. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Pioneers make the line change. And they all watch the lob pass here to Clayton. Jordan Smith will be the inbounder. Gets it into Beeman, way out front. Beeman guarded by Congleton. Beeman drives right in with a layup. No good. Rebound Winfield. Up the floor to Taisha Taylor. Taylor wants a drive, kicks it in the corner. Here's Atkinson. Right side, Cecil for three off the mark. You could see that. Winfield saves it to Atkinson. 
eight foot jumper, good by Deja. 35, 32. Ball knocked away by Congleton. It'll stay with Shepard. And we've got our media timeout for the second quarter. 4.42 to play in the second quarter. 35-32, Shepard on top. Go Rams. The Zops are watching from Elkins, West Virginia. Uh, my future daughter-in-law is a ref. I'm cheering for everyone. Love basketball. Let's see. Uh, Michelle here in Lumberport, West Virginia. I'm a Glenville fan as my son Seth, Seth Price is a member of their pep band, and you can hear him playing. He's the one with the bullhorn and the sass. Probably the sax, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, watching from DMV, cheering for Shepherds Jordan Smith and Sidney Clayton, and right now those two are taking it to the Pioneers. Go Pioneers from the Dallin. Dallins of Newton Square, Pennsylvania. Shout out to our family, the Butchers in Glenville and Colorado. Uh, let's go Pioneers. Play hard. Deja from Mom. She is playing hard. You had a great game yesterday, Mom. Go Rams from Haymarket. We got more. We'll catch up when we can. Ram basketball. Here's the basket, the baseball pass down the floor, and uh, it's going to be a turnover. Here's Congleton. Pull up, eight footer, no, and the rebound down to the Rams. That's McLaughlin. Pioneers miss a great opportunity there. Had a three on two break. Beeman to Smith. Jordan picks up her dribble, lost the basketball, and it was last touched by Congleton. So the Pioneer fans there didn't like it. I was screened off, couldn't tell you. But not much of a clump complaint there from Deja, so she probably got it. Here's the inbounds to Beeman. 12 on the shot clock. And Clayton, Clayton. Takes it down, stops, shoots, no, rebound Michelle Cecil. A rare miss for Clayton. Up the floor to Deja Atkinson. Gives it up in the corner to Winfield. Winfield working against Jordan Smith into the paint, shot no good. Took a bad shot, bad results. Here come the Rams, up the floor to Beeman. Right side, three-pointer on the way, no good. Rebound, though, to the Rams' Myers. New 20-second shot clock. Three-point game. Rams in the lead. Here's a steal by Winfield. Uncontested layup at the other end. Good. It's a one-point game. Rams with the lead. Here's the inbounds to McLaughlin. Picks up her dribble. Ball gets away, but picked back up by Beeman. Three minutes to play in the first half. Big crowd here at the Waco trying to cheer the Pioneers. Here's another turnover by Abby Beeman. Tried to pass it over the top, and it was knocked away. Picked up by Cecil. Here is Congleton down the lane, up for two, and the Pioneers are back in the lead, 37-35. Jordan Smith bringing it up the floor against Cecil. Smith pulls up at the foul line, off the glass and good. Rams swing back on top. Here's Congleton down the lane. Layup is good, fouled by Jordan Smith. Pioneers back up by one. 38-37. Congleton with 12 in the game. And she will have a free throw up and coming. Pioneers will make the line change. Everybody but Congleton. She'll come out the next dead ball. Foul was on Jordan Smith. That was her first. Second team foul on Shepard this quarter. 
Congleton puts it up and in. Pioneers lead by two, 39-37. Full court press. Beeman gets it into McLaughlin. Over to Beeman. Beeman double teamed, gets it to Clayton. And back out to Beeman. Beeman wants a drive, cut off by Rashana Stone. Fadeaway jumper, good. Wow, she's a great player, Abby Beeman. She got cut off defensively, but just did a uh, spin and put it up and in. Tie game at 39. Here is a drive and a basket by Hubbard, and she is fouled. Bucket counts. Foul is going to be on Hannah Myers, the 5'8 senior, her first. Third team foul. Hubbard at the free throw line. Hubbard with four points in the game. Make it five. And the Pioneers up by three. 143 to play in the first half. Here's a lob pass. Whoa, almost got away, but picked up by Smith. She's driving in. Her shot is up and in. What a great take. Pioneers by one. 42-41. Here's Stone. Into the paint, double teamed, and she turned it over. Kind of drove into two much bigger girls in Clayton and Smith, and Rashana turned it over. 115 to play. Beeman gets it to McLaughlin. Turnaround jumper, good boy. She this kid can shoot. Marley McLaughlin. Shepard by one, 43-42, under a minute to go in the first half. Stone to Hubbard. Hubbard in traffic, back to Stone. Back out to Hubbard for three, no, and the rebound by McLaughlin. Now Beeman, 20 on the shot clock, 34 on the game clock. Beeman on the right wing. McLaughlin. Long three. No good. Rebound out of bounds to the Pioneers. They can work for the last shot if they want. 20.4 seconds to go. What a game. Last game was a 52-34 affair. I knew this one would be higher scoring. Both teams over 40 here in the first half. Congleton will bring it up the floor. Clock shot down to 12. Here is Taisha Taylor. In trouble. Gets it to Congleton. Got to shoot the ball. Congleton in traffic puts it up and we got a traveling violation. Poor possession there by the Pioneers. Do not get a shot off. Point eight seconds to go before halftime. And that will be the end of the half. 43 to 42. Pioneers down one. Shepard with the lead at both the end of the first quarter and the second quarter. And we have a great ball game here at the Waco Center for the semifinal. Winner taking on Charleston Monday evening at 7. Let's take a look at the stats in the first half. First for the number 5 seed, Shepard Rams. 17 points already for Sydney Clayton. 8 of 15 from the floor, 1 of 1 from the free throw line. She has one rebound and two steals. Then you've got 8 points for McLaughlin, 3 of 5 from the floor. Two of those were three-point baskets. Four rebounds and one steal. Eight points for Jordan Smith, four of four from the floor. She has an assist and a steal. Uh, six points for Shipley, three of three from the floor. She has um, one assist in the game. Shepard shooting wonderfully, 62.5%, tw uh, 20 of 32. 
Pioneers got to cut that down. Two of five from beyond the arc, that's 40%. One of one from the free throw line. For the Pioneers, 13 for Deja Congleton. Five of eight from the floor. One of two from three-point land. Two of five from the free throw line. She's got one rebound, one assist, and two steals. Then you've got eight for Winfield. Four of six from the floor. Five rebounds for Z, two assists and one steal. Eight points for Rashana Stone, three of five from the floor, including two of two from three-point land. Um, also, seven points for Hubbard, three of six from the floor, O of two from beyond the arc, one of one from the free throw line. She has two rebounds. Then you've got two for Abby Stoller, one of three from the floor, three rebounds, and two points for Kaylee Pierce, one of three from the floor, 0 of 2 from three-point land. Two points for Deja Atkinson. One of two from the floor. Pioneer shooting 50%. 18 of 36. 3 of 12 from beyond the arc. That's 25%. Rebounds. Shepard leading it 17 to 12. Offensive rebounds. Glenville leads 7 to 4. Second chance points even at 4 each. Assist 12 for Shepard. Only 4 for the Pioneers. Got to change that. Turnovers, 10 for Shepard, 7 for the Pioneers. And let's see, steals are even at 5 each. Paint points are even at 26 each. And our halftime score is uh, 43 to 42. The Rams are on top by 1. Let's see, got an email here uh, from uh, Debbie Buckaloo. Cheering for you, Abby Beeman and the Shepherd Lady Rams. We love you, Debbie and Chris from Frostburg, Maryland. And Abby is a player, a Swiss Army knife. She can do it all. Also got, uh, let's see, this is Fred Charles tuned in from Lakewood, New York. Wonder if they got as much snow as we do here. About eight inches overnight. Let's see, uh, Cindy Ransom says, Go Lady Rams from Pittsburgh, PA. I wonder if Cindy is related to Chip Ransom, the SID at uh, Shepherd. Got another email here. We are so proud of our Rams. Thanks for the broadcast. Gail and Cindy Connor from Martinsburg. Good to hear from you, folks. Let's see, uh... John and Pam Boyle watching in snowy Ashburn, Virginia. Great job on the broadcast. Thank you. Glad you enjoyed it. That's that's it, I think. What is this? Is that one more? Let's see. Let's go Rams. The Griffiths watching from Greenville, North Carolina. Greenville, North Carolina, uh, home of uh, the Pirates. You do a great job with the broadcast. Go Rams, Bradley Dameron from Kermit, West Virginia. Cheering for the Rams from Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, Carla and Dave Anderson, also Shepherd Golf Team and Coach Ingram, cheering from the car, listening on their way home from golf tournament in North Carolina. Let's see one more. Go Lady Rams from the DeLauders in Frederick, Maryland. I went to school with Chuck DeLauder at Alderson Broadus. Here's another one. Uh, okay, that's that's an old one. Okay, caught up there. We've got some others. We'll try and catch up here for you, too. Winner of this game takes on Charleston. It was an ugly game in the first uh, quarterfinal game of the night. Neither team shooting very well. The... Uh, Charleston Golden Eagles win it by a 52-34 score, but only shot 38.9% and 16.7 from three-point land. But that was way better than the uh, Cal PA Vulcans. They shot 19.7% for the game and 10 from three-point land, just three of 30. All right, a couple more to go here. Let's see, Sidney Clayton's family and Frederick is watching. Go Rams. And as a Pioneer fan, I wish Sidney was home with you because she is killing the Pioneers. Uh, go Shepherd. My name is Angel, and I'm a Shepherd alumni. Assistant coach Joshua, Joshua Medina, I think that's how to pronounce it, is my husband. Go Rams. Watching from Inwood, West Virginia. 
How about referencing the multiple beautiful passes made by Beeman instead of being critical of the rare passes that are difficult for the teammates? I have done nothing but brag on Beeman as a wonderful player, and uh, I said she does it all. When she makes a turnover, I'm going to say she makes a turnover. Watching from Frederick, Maryland, keeping, keep shooting those threes. Marley, let's go Shepard. The Longwells are watching from Pittsburgh, PA, supporting our niece and cousin, Cara Miner, who plays for Shepard. My grandfather played football for Glenville State. One more. I, uh, I meant sass. I meant sass as he yells out the cheers to the other team. Ah! But he also plays the sax, so that was still correct. <laughs> and we're talking about one of the members of the Pioneer Pep Band. Hey, Bob, Sarah Harvey, watching with my sister in Parkersburg. So stressed, we want this rematch versus UC Monday. Come on, Glenville. They're going to have to stop uh, the uh, Shepherd Rams from getting the ball down low to Clayton and Jordan Smith. Watching from the hotel in Charleston, great game so far. Shout out to Coach Amy Chapman and the Gilmer County Titans on the great season. Jay Bennett from the Parkersburg News. Haven't heard from Jay in a long time. And the, the uh, Glenville, uh, the Gilmer County um, high school women's basketball team lost in a last-second shot for the state championship today. But they had a great year. Woohoo for my sister Marley McLaughlin. We love you. This is uh, from... Uh, Erica and AK watching from Watertown, Virginia. Go Lady Pioneers. Let's see. Go Lady Pioneers. Coach Bendix Baum and family watching from Houston, Texas. Uh, Kira and ET watching at Shepherd University. Turn me up, Rams. Go Marley. Yes, Queen from your cousin Tess. Go Marley. Yes, Queen. Uh, Go Lady Rams. You guys are. Beasts, yes, queens. Go, Marley, from Cousin Tess. Okay. Oh, you forgot this. I got a few more. Go, Rams. Go, go, go. Aunt Pat and Cousin Tess. Let's go, Lady Pioneers. Zakiah, Tay, Pierce, dig in. Cheering from Chesapeake, Virginia. And one more. That wasn't it, was it? Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, okay. Shout out to my sister, Marley McLaughlin, and the Rams. We love you. Erica and AK watching from Watertown, Virginia. Warrington. Warrington, Virginia. Pardon me. Warrington. <laughs> All right. Halftime score, 43-42. Rams. Don't show any wear and tear from their over double overtime game last night against Gannon. Rams were down early in that game. I think they were down by, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think 17 points. And they came roaring back and double overtime. And they get the victory to advance to this semifinal, 93-89. to That's... Uh, a full quarter more of basketball that they had to play last night. Both teams back on the floor. Warming up for the second half. And if it's anywhere as good as the first half has been in, we're in for a treat. Let's go, Lady Pioneers. Zakaya, have a great game. We are so proud of you from your family in Atlanta. Let's see. Shepherd alum watching from Williamsport, Maryland. Our daughter is a student athlete at Glenville and is there at the Waco. Good luck to both teams. Dave Mickey McDonald checking in from Sun City Center, Florida. Let's go, Lady Pioneers. Watching the uh, bad weather at the uh, Players' Championship down at Sawgrass today. And, wow, Florida 
getting a lot of wind and rain from this same system that dumped eight inches of snow here in West Central West Virginia last night. Roads were fine, though, coming into the game today. Championship game on uh, Monday at 7 o'clock here at the Waco Center. The winner of that game will advance to the Elite Eight for the NCAA Women's Basketball Championship. That'll be held in Birmingham, Alabama, March 21st through the 25th. Once again, hats off to the administration and athletic staff here at Glenville State University for the job they've done putting on this regional fourth time that Glenville has hosted the regional twice in the old Lilly Gymnasium and now twice here at the unbelievably beautiful Waco Center understand the Waco Center which is already beautiful may get a little bit of a facelift this spring a couple of uh, additions to the already fantastic facility Pioneers only uh, 3 of 12 shooting the three-point basket. They didn't shoot it very well last night either. 7 of 33, just 21%. And for the uh, Rams, they are 2 of 5. That's 40%. Both threes by uh, Marley McLaughlin. And she's a good part of the reason that the Rams are playing in this game because she went off in the third quarter yesterday against Gannon to get the Rams right back in that game. Let's see. Good luck to Marley and the rest of the Rams from Sunkiss Boys. Hey, Bob, this is uh, Mallory Menendez. Boy, that brings back memories. Great to hear you still calling the games. I can't get away from it, Mallory. You talk about somebody that could shoot the three-point basket. Mallory was your girl. Uh, let's see. Watching from Haymarket, Virginia. Go Rams. Go Marley. Uncle Chris. Cousin CJ and Noah. And fans of Hannah Myers, number 14, watching from Monrovia, Maryland. Keep getting those rebounds and steals, girl. Courtney and April. Mallory Menendez. Wow. Huh. That goes back to uh, Steve Harold and uh, Dennis Fitzpatrick and Jared Alltop. Don't think Mallory played for um, Bunky Harkle Road. I think she was gone by that time. All right, get your ankle tape, folks. Whether you're a Ram fan or a Pioneer fan, we've got a barn burner, a one-point game. Fans of Hannah Myers, 14, watching from Monrovia. I've read that. Biggest lead of the ball game was three points for the Pioneers at 42 to 39, but a four-point run by the Rams since then. Biggest lead for the Rams, 35-28 at seven points, with 6:06 to play in the second. Watching our niece Marley McLaughlin and the Rams from Virginia, Love and Barbara and Aunt Anne. Appreciate all your messages in support of these two teams battling it out here to advance to the regional championship game. Inbounds to Rayshana Stone. Glenville with the first possession. Here's Winfield driving around Beeman and up for two. Pioneers on top, 44-43. Inbounds to Clayton. Sydney at the elbow 
Picks it up and gives it up to Beeman. Bounce pass to Sydney, and she puts it up and in. Double teamed, and she still got it up and in. Rams back on top by one. Here's Congleton down the lane, but she missed it. Rebound by Winfield. Puts it up. No good, but she's fouled. Think the foul is going to be on Beeman. Let's see. Yep, that's who it'll be on. First on Beeman, first team foul. Winfield to the free throw line. First trip tonight. She's got 10 points. Also six rebounds for Winfield, two assists and a steal. First shot is good. We're tied at 45. Second shot is up, and Winfield puts her Pioneers back up by one. Full court press. Inbounds comes to Sydney Clayton, and she loses the dribble. And a lot of bounds. It's a turnover. Good defense there by Abby Stoller. Pioneers will make the five-person change, four-person change. Nope, just three. Winfield and Congleton will stay on the floor. Deja works out front, gives it up to Taylor. Here's Winfield. She'll fire a three. No. Rebound comes down to Megan Shipley. Here's Beeman. Beeman pulls up for three. Good. Oh, no. It, from where we sat, it looked good, but it was not. Pioneers get the rebound. Here's a pass down the floor to Congleton. Lays it up. Missed it. Winfield with the rebound. Knocked away and out of bounds. It'll belong to the Pioneers. I don't know. There's going to be a discussion here. Nope. It's going to be Rams basketball. Congleton, a wide open layup, would not fall for her. Full court press. Here's the pass, stolen away. And here is Taylor on the baseline, puts it up, no good. She's fouled. Foul will be on Sydney Clayton. That'll be her second. Pioneers with a one-point lead going to the line is Taisha Taylor, scoreless in the ball game. Taylor, a junior from Huntington, West Virginia. First shot is good. And she makes them both. Pioneers by three. That ties the biggest lead of the ball game for Glenville. Here's the inbounds pass to Clayton. Now Beeman. Pass to Clayton at the foul line. Lost the basketball. Gets it back. Drives in and uh, charge. And that's number three on Sydney Clayton. Turnover for the Rams. Pioneers will bring in five new players. Pioneers with a three-point lead and the basketball. 8-16 to play in the third. Rayshana Stone. Here is uh, Hubbard. Ball was tipped. She got it back. And now a turnover by Abby Stoller. Taken away by Sydney Clayton. Careless dribble there by Abby. Beeman drives into the paint. Ten-foot jump shot. Good. Sixth point of the game for Beeman. Here's a pass into the corner for Stone. Stone on the baseline, kicks it outside, and a turnover. Bad pass by Danielson, layup for Beeman. 
Rams back on top, and now Stone turns it over, trying to dribble through traffic. Here is Hannah Myers. Layup is good. Timeout called by Coach Stevens for the Pioneers. They were up by three, and now they're down by three. A 6-0 run, all off of turnovers by the Pioneers. 7-14 to go. 19 in the game for Sidney Clayton. Let's see, uh, 8 for McLaughlin, 8 for Beeman, and 8 for Smith. For the Pioneers, 13 for Congleton. 12 for Winfield, 8 for Stone. 7 rebounds for Winfield, leading the way for the Pioneers. Myers has 8 rebounds, leading the way for the Rams. Let's see, go Sydney, you got this from Haymarket, Virginia. I assume they're talking about Sydney Clayton. See, I'm watching you, Marley McLaughlin, your favorite brother, Brandon. The Med- Medina family cheering on the Rams from Capon Bridge, West Virginia. Our son is the assistant coach. And one more. Hi, Bob and wife, <laughs> Karina Kendrick. There's another blast from the past. Now, Conley. Congratulations, Karina. Here in Cleveland, Ohio, and Christy Alltop, too, watching your broadcast. Tremendous job, as usual. Go Pioneers. Thank you, ladies. Brings back memories. Here's a great pass to Winfield. Couldn't get the shot off. Passes it to Skylar Davidson. She puts it up and in. Here's the inbounds to McLaughlin. Back over to Beeman. Beeman gets it to McLaughlin at the elbow. McLaughlin driving and lost the basketball, and it's a turnover. Taken away by Skyler Davidson. Skyler into the front court. Skyler driving, takes it in, missed the layup. Rebound down to Beeman. Abby wants the run, gives it up to, guess who? Sidney Clayton for two. Pardon me, that was not Clayton. That was uh, Jordan Smith. Here's Cecil. Onto the baseline. Layup. Good by Deja Congleton. Great pass from Cecil. And here's a pass down the floor to Sidney Clayton. She'll wait. Give it up to Beeman. One point lead for the Rams 53 52. There's a lob pass to Clayton, and they're going to call a blocking foul on D- on uh, Zakiah Winfield. The crowd didn't like it. I really didn't see it because I was screened off. That'll be number two on Winfield. And Sidney Clayton to the free throw line. Great free throw shooter, 83%. She's got 21 in the game. One of one from the line tonight. Shot is up and in. So the three-point play for Clayton. Four-point lead for the Rams. Tayshawn Hubbard. Crossover dribble in the corner to Atkinson for three. Airballed it. Rebound, though, to Abby Stoller, but she lost it. Shepard basketball. Here's Beeman working against Rashana Stone. Now Smith. Clayton with it. Gets it out to McLaughlin for three. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Hannah Myers. New 20-second shot clock. Here's Beeman, down the lane, floater, no good. Rebound where? Kicked in bounds, but back to the Rams, a new 20-second shot clock. And we've got a...
we got a we're going to have a media timeout, and uh, the shot clock is going to be at 18. They reset the shot clock, and they shouldn't have. It'll be Shepherd basketball after our media timeout. The Rams with a four-point lead, 56-52. Let's see, got an email here. It says, Ray, Shepard alum, watching from home in the Eastern Panhandle. Great game, great broadcast. Love all the shout-outs. We love John and Pam. Uh, go Rams. Let's see, one more here. Lampers, Burgers, and Browns are watching from Florida, waiting for our softball girls. Go, uh, yeah, waiting for our softball girls. Go Rams, Melanie Brown. Put a camera on you, too, so we can see who's talking. <laughs> no, you don't want to see that. People tell me I have the perfect face for radio. Uh, it says, Go Rams, John and Pam Boyle from Ashburn, Virginia. Glad y'all are into the broadcast. Rams on top by four, 56-52. They'll have the basketball. And after a discussion, they are giving them almost the full 30-second clock, 28. Hannah Myers out front to McLaughlin. Here's Beeman on the wing. Guarded by Winfield. Eight on the shot clock. Beeman pulls up a long three. Oh, I thought it was good came off the rim. Rebound Pioneers. And here's a bad pass from Skylar Davidson, but luckily knocked out of bounds off of Hannah Myers. Just a bad pass, an unnecessary pass. 4-10 to play. Here's Winfield. Kicks it in the corner to Taylor. Taisha driving. Double team gets it to Winfield. 11 on the shot clock. Winfield kicks it in the corner. Davidson for three. Skyler Davidson. Great pass from Winfield. Here's the inbounds to Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith into the front court. Hands it off to Abby Beeman. One-point game, Shepard with the lead. Here's McLaughlin on the wing. Pulls up at the foul line, short, out of bounds. It'll be Pioneer basketball. That was an air ball. Pioneer basketball. Pioneers with a chance to regain the lead. Coach Eckleberry arguing that the ball was tipped. Congleton into the front court. Guarded by Myers. Congleton dumps it off on the baseline to Winfield. Here's Cecil for three. It won't go. And we've got a foul on the rebound. It's going to be called on Hannah Myers. That'll be the second on Myers. And that's the fourth team foul this quarter. So any fouls the rest of the way in this quarter... The Pioneers will shoot. They will have the basketball on the baseline with a 20-second shot clock after a five-player exchange. Inbounds pass to Rashana Stone. Abby Stoller now high out front. Abby dribbling through traffic. Gives it up to Stone, and she misses a shot. Puts up an air ball. Beeman into the front court. Guarded by Rashana. Beeman double teamed and turns it over. Bad pass. Here come the Pioneers. Abby Stoller to Hubbard. Hubbard kicks it in the corner to Pierce. Pierce outside to Stone. Stone drives to the bucket and she missed it again. Got her own rebound. 
and gets it to Winfield. Winfield puts it up no good. Rebound Pioneers. Stoller in the corner to Stone. Here's Winfield. Winfield drives and she is fouled and that's going to be on Jordan Smith. That'll be the second and that'll be shots for Zakiah Winfield. Winfield with 12 points for the Pioneers, seven rebounds, four assists, and a steal. Zakaya misses. Second shot, no good. Rebound, tie up. And it will belong to the Rams. So Zakaya misses two free throws. Rare for Z. Full court press by the Pioneers. Inbounds pass comes to Clayton. Guarded by Abby Stoller. Now Beeman. Here's a pass to Clayton at the elbow, and she buries it. Three-point lead for the Rams. Here's a drive to the bucket. Ball knocked away. And, uh, wow, somehow Congleton saved it. Rayshana Stone with it. 18 on the shot clock. Rashana gives it up to Hubbard. Hubbard in traffic, and she walked. Yeah, that was just a bad play by Tayshawn Hubbard. Tried to drive through a double team and got to give that ball up. Turnover for the Pioneers. That's their 11th. 15 on the Rams. Here's the inbounds. This is Smith. And Smith has it taken away by Winfield a shot missed by um, Skylar Davidson she's tied up it'll be Pioneer basketball and the crowd wanted a foul on the attempted shot by Skylar Davidson here's the inbounds to Winfield out front 26 on the shot clock Winfield down the lane. Winfield layup. No good. Winfield with the rebound, and she's fouled. The foul is going to be on Jordan Smith, and that'll be three. Pardon me. That's four. It was not on uh, Smith. It was on Clayton, and that's four on Sidney Clayton. 106 to go in the third. Zakaya Winfield at the free throw line. Shot is up and good. Z makes them both. One point lead for the Rams. 58 57. Inbounds pass to McLaughlin. Works against. Cecil hand off to Beeman out front Beeman pass inside gets away it's a turnover McLaughlin mishandled it and taken away by Taisha Taylor here's Congleton Congleton down the lane up with a shot good Pioneers back on top, 59-58. Jordan Smith lost it, got it back. Beeman, 19 seconds on the game clock. Rams can work for the last shot. Beeman. Four on the clock. Beeman pulls up, shoots, no good. Rebound Pioneers. And the Pioneers will take a one-point lead into the fourth quarter. 
59-58. Wow, it was a three-point lead for Shepard after one. Shepard led by one at the break. And now a one-point game still. The Pioneers on top, 59-58. Let's go Winfield, it says. Go Rams and Marley. Love Brandon. Uh, go Sid and Lady Rams. Uncle Kenny and Aunt Patty from Hagerstown. I think that's all of them. So far in the game, 60% for the Pioneers, 27 of 45. Still only 2 of 8. Or Pardon me, this is the Rams. 2 of 8 from uh, three-point land. For the Pioneers, only 45%. 23 of 51. 4 of 16 from three-point land. Leading scorers, Congleton and Winfield with 17 and 14 respectively. And for the Rams, Clayton, uh, 24 points, 11 of 18 shooting. One more. Uh, so proud of Marley and the Lady Rams from Aunt Jay, Uncle B, Teddy, Brittany, Alex, Benji, Ethan, and Levi. Ten minutes to go in our second semifinal battle. The winner advances to the championship game to face the Golden Eagles of the University of Charleston Monday at 7 right here at the Waco. Uh, let's see, what is it? Resilience, athleticism, motivation. Go Rams from Karen Mason, class of 2015. Rams put it in play. Beaming out front onto the wing. Here's a drive by Shipley. Missed it. Rebound, Pioneers. Winfield. Fires up a three. No, too strong. Rebound to the Rams. And we're going to have a foul. Foul is going to be on Rayshana Stone. That'll be the second on Stone. First team foul this quarter. Here's the inbounds to Jordan Smith. Jordan Smith all the way down into the front court. Passes it out to Beeman. Beeman driving down low. Couldn't get the shot off. Outside it comes. Back to Beeman. Ten on the shot clock. Beeman for three. No good, but the Rams have the rebound. Came down to Shipley. Here's Beeman. Pass to Jordan Smith. Missed it. Rebound Pioneers. Rashana Stone grabs the carom. Stone gives it up to Pierce. Pierce at the foul line. Couldn't get the shot off. Now to Pierce, she'll fire up a three, short, rebound Abby Stoller, outside to Winfield. She's going to drive down the lane, put the shot up, no good, rebound Pioneers, and there's a foul. The foul is going to be on Hannah Myers. That'll be number three on Myers. That'll be the first team foul this quarter. Pioneers will make a line change. 8.31 to play, a one-point lead for Glenville. They will have the basketball with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Cecil will be the inbounder. Gets it in to Congleton. Deja trying to drive, puts it up, and no, she walked with the basketball. Good call. Crowd doesn't like it, but it was a right call. She tried to go through a double team, past the basketball. Inbounds to Smith. Beeman works it up the floor against Congleton. Congleton steals it. Congleton layup good. Pioneers up by three. Here comes Shipley. Out of control. Lost the basketball but picked up by Jordan Smith. And now a layup by Beeman. She missed it. Rebound by Smith. Outside to Beeman, 15 on the shot clock. Beeman picks up her dribble, gets it to McLaughlin, three-pointer, buries it from the left side, tied at 61. 
McLaughlin with her third three-point basket of the game. Timeout on the floor. 30-second timeout called by Coach Eckleberry. Let's see. Uh, Zach. Where, just this one here? Yes. Winfield is hustling her tail off on both ends. She's playing a game. She always does. That was from my son, Zach, out in Colorado. Uh, let's see. It says, go Sky, go Pioneers. Uh, one more. Way to pull up, Zakaya. Keep hustling. All it, all it or nothing. I says it I must be all in or nothing, Pioneers. Tie game, 61 all. Wow, with 7.41 to play. Congleton with 19 now. 14 for Winfield. 24 for Clayton. And 11 for McLaughlin. And 10 for Smith for the Rams. Rams out rebounding the Pioneers 28-24, but the Pioneers 14-8 on offensive rebounds. It'll be Pioneer basketball, tie game. Rayshana Stone. On the wing to Stoller, back to Stone. To Congleton. Deja gives it up to Stoller. In the corner, here is Hubbard. Hubbard driving and lost the ball. Last touched by the Rams. Tried to dribble through a double team again, and they knocked the ball away. Got to pass the ball, Tay. Pass out front. Goes to Stone. Ten on the shot clock. Stone drives. Stone lays it up. That's ten for Stone. Inbounds pass to Shipley. Gives it off to Beeman. Beeman has it knocked away and out of bounds by Deja Congleton. Stays with the Rams. 22 on the shot clock. Inbounder will be Marley McLaughlin. Abby Beeman driving, cut off, lobs it on the baseline. Ball almost got away. Six on the shot clock. Beeman drop away three, no good. Airballed it, and that's a shot clock violation. Turnover for the Rams. That's their 19th. Pioneers with a three point lead and the basketball. 6.39 to play. Folks, I don't know about you at home watching, but I'm up here shaking watching this ball game. Both teams giving it everything they have. Sidney Clayton back into the ball game for the Rams. Here is Winfield driving, layup no good, but a foul. That one's going to be on Jordan Smith. That'll be the third on Jordan. It'll be the second team foul, and Zakaya Winfield at the free throw line. She's uh, four of six from the line tonight. Momentary timeout while Winfield reties her shoe. Z misses it. She's missed three tonight. Second shot for Zakaya is good, and the Pioneers tie their biggest lead of the game at three. Full court press, inbounds to Clayton. Clayton picks up her dribble, gets it to Beeman. (laughs) 
Beeman has the ball knocked away, picked back up, gets it to Clayton. Clayton in traffic, shot up, no good, rebound Pioneers. Deja Congleton, great pass to Cecil, and she lost the basketball, taken away by Beeman. Pass down the floor, layup is good. That was Jordan Smith. Smith with 12 points in the game. One point lead for the Pioneers. Congleton to the glass. Layup is good. 21 for Congleton. Three point lead for Pioneers. Here's Jordan Smith. Jordan on the attack. Gives it up to Clayton. Clayton in the paint. Puts a shot up. No good. Rebound Deja Congleton. Five ten to play. Here's a pass to Winfield and a charge on Zakaya Winfield. Taken by Marley McLaughlin. That's three on Winfield. Pioneers will make a line change. And two turnovers in a row for the Pioneers with a three-point lead. Here's the inbounds to McLaughlin. Guarded by Danielson. McLaughlin gets it to a pass down the lane. Shot no good. Re Smith gives it up to Beeman. Beeman double teamed, gets it to Clayton, and a blocking foul. And wow, the crowd goes nuts. That looked like number five on Sydney because she knocked Danielson to the ground. So that'll be a foul on Danielson for the block. Third team foul. New 20-second shot clock for the Rams. Way outside to McLaughlin. Shot clock at 10. Beeman loses the basketball and finally picks it back up. Here's McLaughlin for three. No. Rebound the Pioneers. Winfield. Pioneers up by three with 2.30 to play. If they can get a bucket here, two possession lead would be huge. Winfield kicks it to Cecil for three. No good. Rebound where? A foul on Rayshana Stone over the back. It was a good call. For Stone, that'll be her third. Fourth team foul. Full court press. Beeman to inbound. Gets it into Smith. Smith guarded by Winfield. Nice piece of dribbling around her back. Here's Beeman. Pulls up for three. Got it. Straight away three. We are tied at 68. 157 to play. Now you got to score if you're the Pioneers. Here's Winfield. Driving into traffic. Lost it, but picked up by Skylar Davidson. She shoots an air ball. Taken out of there by Taylor. Taisha Taylor scores, and she's fouled. And that's five on Sidney Clayton. Sidney Clayton has played a great game. 26 points, 12 of 21 shooting, 2 of 2 from the free throw line, 3 rebounds and 3 steals. And yesterday she had a wonderful game with 23 points. Taylor puts it up and no good. Pioneers by two with 135 to play. 
Here's Beeman. Works against Deja Congleton. Here's a pass. It's a turnover by Beeman. Up the floor to Congleton. Congleton gives it up to Cecil. Back to Congleton. Layup is good. Pioneers by four. Inbounds comes to Jordan Smith. One minute and five seconds to play. Smith turns it over. Picked off by Congleton. She drives. Lays it up and in. Pioneers by six. Mayhem in the Waco Center. Great crowd to watch this semifinal game, and it has been a game to watch. Both the Rams and the Pioneers, 23 points for Congleton, five rebounds, four steals, and an assist. 25 for Congleton. That ties her season high. Boy, you talk about two girls that play the game. Sydney Clayton for the Rams and Deja Congleton for the Pioneers. Yeah, but that doesn't mean the stream is. All right. Here's Shepard down by six. Inbounds. Here is a shot by Beeman. No good. And a rebound by Winfield. And she is fouled by Myers. That'll be the third team foul. Maybe the fourth. Yeah, fourth team foul. And that'll be four on Hannah Myers. No shots. <laughs> Got a text here. It says Congleton, Davidson, and Winfield. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. All right, 53 seconds to play. The Pioneers are up by six. And it will be Pioneer basketball. Congratulations to the Ram coaches, Eckleberry and Josh. Uh, so happy you've come this far. You guys are great. Yes, they are, and they've played a heck of a game. Not over yet. I mean, Shepard was down and out of it yesterday, and they found a way to get back. Won it in double overtime. Somebody said they lost the connection, but I think we're okay. All right, the Pioneers will have the basketball in the front court with a six-point lead. Here's the inbounds to Stone. And Stone is fouled by um, Megan Shipley. That'll be the first on Shipley. And that'll be two shots for Rayshana Stone, the fifth team foul. Rayshana with 12 points in the game, five of nine from the floor, two of two from three point land. She's got two rebounds and an assist. Stone can make it a three-possession lead, and she does. 75-68. Second shot is up and in as well. Eight-point lead for the Pioneers. Here comes Beeman into the front court. Lost the ball. Turnover. Pioneer basketball with an eight-point lead and just 46.9 seconds to go. Pass down the floor to Winfield. Uncontested layup. Good. Great pass by Congleton. Pioneers by 10. Here's Beeman. Lost the basketball. Turnover. Down the floor to Winfield. Layup. Good. And a foul.
Well, the, the score is not going to be an indication of how close this game was. The Rams have just uh, struggled here in the last minute. There's a foul on Winfield. The, ch- the free throw was missed. Winfield fighting for the rebound. Committed a foul. And uh, that will be shots for Jordan Smith down at the end, other end of the floor. Pioneers are up by 12, but back-to-back-to-back turnovers resulted in three easy baskets in the last 30 seconds. At the line is Jordan Smith, 12 points in the game, first trip to the line. She's got four rebounds. Smith, a 55% free throw shooter. Shot is up and in. Rams set a school record with their win yesterday, 25 and 7. They're going to be 25 and 8 now. The second shot was up and in. It's a 10 point game. And we've got a foul. Foul is called on Abby Beeman. That'll be her second. And Deja Congleton will be shooting free throws. So I know the Rams and their fans will be disappointed with the loss, but you set a school record for wins, best record ever, and you got to the semifinals of the regional tournament. First shot is up and in. Congleton with a new season high, 26 points. Second one is up and in. 27 for Congleton. That leads all scorers. Here's Beeman. And she threw it away. Turnover. Pioneers will have it with 22.9 to go. They can just hold the basketball here, and I'm sure they will if Shepard will let them. Inbounds to Winfield. And Shepard will not foul. Winfield into the front court, gets it to Hubbard. Pioneers will just back it out and run the clock out. And the Pioneers will advance, and it's going to be an all MEC final for the region. PSAC had five teams, none of them made it. The Mountain East Conference had two, and they will face each other for a rematch. Charleston and Glenville on Monday at 7. Pioneers win it 82-70. What a game. Just a really, really enjoyable game. Hats off to the uh, Shepherd Rams. And they had to be a little bit tired from that extra overtime periods last night. The Pioneers played in the semifinal game of the Mountain East Conference going back five or six years against Concord. It was double overtime. And the next day, the Pioneers did not play well. They just did not have the legs underneath them. And that may have been a factor late in the game. Another factor is Sidney Clayton picking up her fourth foul in that uh, third period or early in the fourth. And uh, when you take 26 points out of the lineup... She was a handful. All right, let's take a look at these stats. First off, for the Rams, Sidney Clayton with a great game and a great tournament. Two 20-plus games. Tonight, 26. 12 of 21. Two of two from the line. Three rebounds. She also had three steals. You had 11 points for uh, Marley McLaughlin. Uh, Four of nine from the floor, including three of seven from long range. Four rebounds and one steal. 11 points for Abby Beeman. Five of 16 from the floor. One of five from three-point land. She had six rebounds and 15 assists in the game. So a double-double for Abby for the second night in a row. And last night, she was just a couple away from having a triple-triple or maybe a double, a, tri- a quadruple a double. Because she had eight um, steals and eight 
um, rebounds in that game. Uh, let's see, who else here? 11 for uh, Beeman, 14 for Smith. She was 6 of 7 from the floor, 2 of 2 from the free throw line. She had 4 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. That's all right, we'll get to them. Um, for the Rams, two point, uh, 6 points for Shipley, 3 of 4 from the floor. She had 2 rebounds and 1 assist. Also a couple of blocks and 2 for Myers, one of two from the floor. She had 13 rebounds and two steals. The Rams shoot well, 52.5%, 31 of 59, four of 12 from three-point land, 33.3%, and 100% from the free throw line, four of four. For the Pioneers, <coughs> pardon me, game high honors to Deja Congleton, 27 points, 11 of 16 from the floor, 1 of 2 from three-point land, 4 of 7 from the free throw line, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 5 steals. What a game for Deja. 19 for Winfield. Zakaya with uh, 7 of 14 from the floor, 5 of 9 from the free throw line. Zakaya with a double-double, 19 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. 14 for Rashana Stone, 5 of 9 from the floor, 2 of 2 from 3-point land, 2 of 2 from the line, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Then you had 7 points for Tayshawn Hubbard, 3 of 6 from the floor, 1 of 1 from the free throw line, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, and 2 steals. 5 points for Skylar Davidson, 2 of 4 from the floor, 1 of those a 3-point basket, 1 rebound, she had 2 steals in the game. Four for Taisha Taylor, one of one from the floor, two of three from the line, one rebound, and one assist. And you had two for Deja Atkinson, one of three. <coughs> Pardon me, one of three from the floor, and uh, two points for Kaylee Pierce, one of four from the floor. Two for Abby Stoller, one of four from the floor, with seven rebounds. Pioneer, <clears throat> Pioneer shoot 47.8%, 32 of 67. Four of 19 from three-point land, 21.1%. And 14 of 22 from the free throw line, 63.7.6%. Uh, Rebounds, Shepard with a two-rebound advantage, 33-31, but the Pioneers had 16 offensive rebounds to nine for the Rams. And those second-chance points, they were pretty even. Ten for Glenville, nine for the Rams. Uh, 